You probably hate him, he's frustrated you, he's gotten play of the game, and he's murdered you a thousand times. It's Bastion here on Overwatch Hero Guides, Danny Dwyer joined by Mary Kish. Mary, everyone loves a Bastion, right? Yeah, everyone who is a Bastion loves Bastion. That's a good point. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Hard counters against Bastion, use Widowmaker, use Farah. high damage from a distance, plow it on top of Bastion. That's right. Once he's in his <laughs> sentry mode, he's really weak from behind, so actually even like a tracer, anyone who can get behind him, uh, he does double damage on his head. So. Beautiful. But we're not talking about countering Bastion, we're talking about being Bastion. Let's talk about first about his first configuration, his recon configuration. This is basically him with a submachine gun. Is this thing any good, Mary? It's more mid and close range, and he actually can take a lot of damage when he's doing this. So mm. You kind of want to use it more for mobility to get to the best place for your sentry. I wouldn't really use that for anything else. Yeah, sentry configuration. So you basically hit that shift button, and he is able to turn into a big old turret. He can turn around 360 degrees. He can fire bullets at a, at a massive pace. Um, what is the sort of key to using this effectively, Mary? Well, he does great long range in that, and he can easily take down people and then shoot uh, past them. So you want to always uh, get people in groups, get people going down an alley, get people where they're all going the same way, and mm. then you just mow them all down. You want to be in a corner or against a wall because, again, your back is really easy to be damaged, but uh, you always want to position yourself uh, somewhere where you get a nice oversee of the area. That way you can just kind of pick off people, especially people with low HP. You know, you're you're really good against Mercy. Right. So you want to get yourself uh, in a corner where you have a really nice range of the field or up high so you can look down on everyone and shoot them from above. He's able to repair himself as well, which is just as well because you're going to be attracting a lot of attention. When should you use self-repair? You actually want to use it anytime you're not taking fire and you need health. So, you know, just get into the habit of always using it. But uh, you actually can't use it if you're taking fire. Mm. So before you use it, Put yourself in like a corner where you don't think you're gonna get shot. Not only can you not heal when you're taking fire, but there's a cooldown of like a couple seconds. So you're right. you're just wasting time. Okay. It sounds a lot like actually playing someone like Widowmaker where you're taking shot, you're you're shooting and shooting, and then you're like, oh no, they know where I am now, and I'm just gonna maybe move position and heal myself while I'm doing it. That's Widowmaker right. has to like go find a medipack, but Bastion can sort of do it himself. He can also heal while he's jumping too. Okay. So go ahead and jump, heal, jump and heal your way to safety. <laughs> can you also change configurations while jumping? You can. You can change configurations and it's a faster way to reload. So if you're out of bullets and you're taking fire, go ahead and change your configuration. You start with a fresh reload and it's quicker than reloading in your sentry config. Right. Perfect if you get caught by a tracer or something. Uh, let's talk a little bit about his ult. Do, 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 do. Everyone goes running. He turns into a mobile sentry and can blow people asunder. When should you use this and who should you be targeting? So your shells do long range and they do blast damage. Right. So you actually just want to hurt shells at basically anyone's direction. You also get increased armor, so you don't have to be too afraid. You can kind of move forward and do damage, but it works really well in tandem with other people who can give you additional armor mm. or increase your damage like a mercy. Yeah, I feel like it's really good close range with against everyone except maybe a tank. Like a Reinhardt can still hit you pretty hard with his hammer if you're up close. Uh, but yeah, the best thing about it is I feel like when that sound goes off, everyone just goes running. That's right, and it's because of the blast damage. So if you can get people grouped together using like May's Ice Wall or Azaria's Gravitron, mm. then you're basically just hurling shells and doing massive damage at a huge group of people. Uh, so let's talk, we already talked about the sort of hard counters for this. You know, you want to stay away from sniper lanes. I feel like the minute you are touched by one sniper shot, you need to get out of your turret configuration and find somewhere else to be. Uh, Farah as well, if you get hit by a rocket, get out of there. But who else is there, you know, in terms of flanking or stuff? I'm guessing like Genji and Tracer, right? Genji's really bad because he can deflect the bullets after right. you and it can actually kill you really quickly. But you're so. a big target for those as well. That's right. Uh, it's almost too late by the time you've shot at him. They're <laughs> coming back at you. Bastion used to have a shield in one of the earlier betas. OP. And he, I know, right? Completely. <laughs> um, and he used to be able to protect a Torbjorn turret as well with the size of his shield. So although that's gone, you can still double up with a Reinhardt sitting on top of the payload. So, you know, you got a free shield right there. Yeah, he's a powerful guy to use with other characters to just increase his damage. Enjoy those play of the games. That is one of our last Overwatch hero guides here on GameSpot.com on our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out our playlist for a load more tips for Overwatch.